Imagine walking down the street when suddenly, chaos erupts around you. The ground trembles, buildings collapse, and people, along with vehicles, are thrown through the air like toys caught in a violent storm. It's not an earthquake, not a war. It's because the earth has just stopped spinning for one second. You might think that a second is insignificant. That brief moment could erase human civilization. The Earth rotates at a speed of about 1,670 kilometers per hour at the equator. If the planet were to stop suddenly, everything on its surface would continue moving at the same speed due to inertia. Cities would be ripped apart, hurricane-force winds would tear through the land, and massive tsunamis would rise as the oceans surge forward. In that instant, humanity would no longer be the master of the world. We would become mere creatures at the mercy of an unstoppable force. But suppose some people manage to survive the initial catastrophe. The world they wake up to would be completely unrecognizable. Day and night would cease to alternate. One half of the earth would be scorched under the relentless heat of the sun, while the other half would be plunged into freezing darkness. Worse yet, the earth's magnetic field, which shields us from deadly cosmic radiation, would weaken over time, leaving humans exposed to lethal solar radiation. At that point, civilization would no longer be defined by skyscrapers or advanced technology, but by the desperate struggle of those trying to survive on a barren, uninhabitable planet. This scenario is not just a physics problem. We often believe that we can control the world, conquer nature, and extend our influence beyond the stars. But in reality, even the slightest change in the fundamental mechanics of our planet could obliterate everything we have built in an instant. Are we overestimating our power? Are we merely small, insignificant parts of a vast system that we barely understand? The Earth stopping its rotation for a second is an unlikely event, but it raises a more pressing question. Are we truly prepared for the immense challenges that nature could throw at us? When we look at real-world issues, the consequences can be severe. Humanity is consumed by pointless conflicts, endless debates, and selfish pursuits, forgetting how fragile our existence truly is. Perhaps the most important lesson is not about controlling the universe, but learning how to adapt to it. We cannot prevent the Earth from stopping, but we can build a civilization resilient enough to withstand the inevitable changes that come our way. And if one day, we are forced to face an event that shakes the very foundation of our civilization, the question will not be, how do we stop it? <laughs> but rather, how do we survive and continue to exist? <laughs>